Hey guys, welcome back and today is going to be the Mega Lead deck showing and basically ever since it first came out I was actually a pretty big fan of Mega Lead. He's probably by probably about my second favorite of the EXs that came out or the Megas that came out that that um, Roaring Skies set. I think it's because he's actually a really cool Pokemon. Unfortunately, he's 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 been overshadowed a lot. I don't think people think of him as a, as a viable Mega because the rare clauses are taking all the glory and Mega Latios is now starting to rise a bit, and so I don't think everybody really like looks me at Mega Gallade longer than two seconds. I think he's a really cool Pokemon. I think he's probably the most overshadowed EX of this set, besides I don't know Hydreigon or something. Or no, not Thunder is probably the most <laughs> overlooked one. But anyways, uh, Mega Gallade is a pretty pretty cool Pokemon. Actually, he does a lot of cool things. Um, look at his EX real quick, and uh, Gallade EX is 170 HP. Uh, psychic Pokemon. So basically, the second type is a pretty good typing, but it's also a pretty bad typing because you hit for a lot of weaknesses, but a lot of times you get hit pretty hard for weaknesses as well. So it's a it's a really double-edged sword for psychic Pokemon. Either way, we got Swift Lunge for 30 for two energies, one colorless, one regular. Uh, it's not an amazing move. Basically, you do 30, and then your opponent uh, you may allow your opponent to switch a Pokemon. Basically, you you time to switch, but they pick which one you can switch into. Which is, eh, it'll be better if you can tell, if you picked up one. But for one energy, it's not too bad. Uh, Piercing Prizes, which is 50 base, but then it does 20 more damage for each prize card you have left to take. Which is kind of weird because basically, in the first time you do it, it's going to do 170 damage, which is a pretty good attack. Unfortunately, after that, it'll be doing less. And also, it's three second, second type. Um, energy cards which is kind of a lot to ask for if it was two I'd be seeing this attack would be not that would be pretty viable but it's three which is kind of a, a headache to do um, but yeah that's Glad EX he's not, the, he's not a very strong EX but his Mega is actually what we're looking at and would be based around his Mega Mega Glad EX 220 so not the bulkiest Mega but still it's pretty good life it lets you take some it lets you take quite a bit of hits uh, his attack Unwavering Blade it's basically 110 damage, but if your opponent has any damage counters on their bench Pokemon or on the, any other Pokemon, it does 30 to them, which is pretty good because that's you stack up uh, damage, for, uh, pretty easy actually, because you just got damage them with an ability or with an attack, and then you unwavering blade and start stacking up 30 damage each time you do it. So the damage really adds up when you do it. It is for three energies, two psychic, one colorless, but with dimension value, you'll, you'll be able to do it with just two. He does have a 2 tree cost, which is kind of a, a downer because yeah, that's 2 energies. But um, if you run the mystery energy, you're allowed to switch for free. Unfortunately, I don't run it in this deck because uh, enhanced hammers are a thing. And I don't want to risk. I'd rather, I'd rather have the crushing hammer flip than uh, for sure get rid of my special. So those are our megas. They do all in well by themselves. The whole point is just to stack up damage and eventually just kill the the active with the bench um, with Mega Gallade but we do need some support for that so we have Pineco but he's not important we have Fortress which is basically a stage one which isn't too hard to get out uh, it's a hundred HP stage one which isn't eh, it's okay but what's ability is what we're looking at here it's Thorn Tempest basically when you evolve it you're allowed to put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon that is amazing because you evolve him and then you Unwavering Blade, and then you're just stacking 30 damage on every and everybody now. Um, he is still type two, so I mean against fairies, it's not too bad. Iron Crash is not a, not a, not a bad attack by any means, since you know, fairies usually have quite a big retreat cost. But um, we're using it mostly for the ability itself. Um, we also have another support Pokemon. We have one Shaman EX. He is 110 HP, but you're not gonna be using him for attack. You're gonna be using him for his ability setup. You evolve him. Um, sorry, you put him down to your bench. You're allowed to drop to six cards in your hand, so that's pretty good. If you can play it down, you, if you can play your hand down to a pretty low amount, you can draw a pretty good amount into your hand. Um, his attack sky return isn't what we're gonna be using, but it is not that not that bad if you have to use it. It's 30 for two, which is kind of bad, but it lets you return this Pokemon and all the cards attached to it to your hand, so you can use the ability more than once depending on the circumstances. But um, so with Fortress and Shaman supporting Mega Glade, what happens when Mega Glade goes down? We have Wobbuffet, which is basically a pretty good 
um, tech really. He's a basic, he's 110, he's not that hard to get out. Uh, he has an ability called By Barricade, which basically, if your opponent's Pokemon aren't tech, uh, their Pokemon don't have abilities anymore. So only when he's active does he cancel out other Pokemon's abilities, except for psychic Pokemon's abilities, which isn't too bad. There is a, he cancels out Shaman, he cancels out Fortress, he cancels out uh, Darkrai, he cancels out a lot of things when he's active. That's what you're gonna need because he's pretty cool. Um, his attack is what we're looking at. Psych Psychic Assault is 10, but it's 10 for each damage counter. So 10 plus 10 for each damage counter that your opponent has. So by the time we're done Unwavering Blading and by the time they knock out Mega Glade, hopefully by the time Wobbuffet will be able to do an amazing amount of damage from just one energy with Dimension Valley. Um, so I, the reason why I have him here is solely for Siglyph and Suicune because unfortunately we have no way of actually hitting them besides besides Fortress but Fortress doesn't have an amazing attack especially against uh, Siglyph and does 40 um, but we have is Wobbuffet and Wobbuffet although he doesn't hit for an amazing amount of damage because we can't stack damage to them Tempest does help even, even out a bit so Siglyph or depending really but Siglyph or uh, Suicune really can't knock this out in one hit Siglyph is easier can knock this out easier for sure but yeah we're hoping to get the revenge kill uh, basically we are they come out we knock them out with Wobble Fett uh, if anything else happens say for instance Omega Glade gets knocked out then hopefully by the time there's enough damage stacked on the opponent the active opponent's Pokemon so we can basically uh, second assault for knockout. Uh, other than that, we have just cards to help speed up the Megas when they're doing when they're doing a thing. We have three Mega Turbos for Mega Gallade. Um, I feel like three is a solid number. Uh, four is a little too much. Two and three are about the about the good amount right there. We have two Professor's Letter, just because we need to get energies into our hands sometimes, or we can Ultra Bomb so we can Mega Turbo. We have two switches because. Fortress and Glade are kind of big guys, so they need to, just in case something happens, we need to be able to switch them out. Um, we got two Trainers Mail, which is, I feel like a good number of Trainers Mail. Basically, it's like a gut card. You play it, and you hopefully get something really great out of it. Uh, so far, every time I played it, I played at least, every time I play it, I at least get something useful. At least it's nothing like a dead card. We have four Ultra Balls to get everything we need out. We need to get out Fortress, we need to get out Shaman, we need to get out Wobble Fett, whatever we need, we need to get it out. We have four Ultra Balls for that. We have three Versus Seekers because once again, three is a good number for this card. I think three is very solid. Um, four is a little too much, two maybe, but I feel like three. We have one AZ just to pick up Fortress back from our hand, um, back from the, de uh, the bench to our hand or to pick up Shaman so he doesn't get, so he doesn't get sniped. Uh, we only run one just in case. Uh, as a tech card really, but just in case we need to use them more often, we can use our burst seekers for it. We have two core resters because we got a big bench, and so it'll be, it would help us out really well. We have one less here, just we need to get some threats out of the way, or we need to stall, but it's mostly for threats, you know, we need to, we need to start knocking out those dangerous Pokemon. Um, we have one less here to trump card just in case we deck out or something goes terribly wrong. We have four ends because that's a staple. We have four Sycamores because that's a staple. We have four Dimension Valleys because we need to get rid of stadiums, um, our opponent's stadiums for sure. Especially when we're going against Rukaza, we need to get rid of that that uh, Skyfield. Uh, we have one, uh, one. We have three Glade Spirit Links because we only have three Megas, so having four, is kind of, it's kind of just clutter. Three is a really good number. Um, gets each one their own Mega, and we have nine, um, nine. Psychic energies, which is pretty pretty decent. You might want a little more depending on your taste, but nine is a very good solid number. It lets you power up three without the dimension value, or it lets you power up about um, two and well three and one fit with dimension value. It lets you cons dimension value is what you really need because you have to conserve energy. But yes, so that's the deck. Um, it runs pretty smooth. It runs pretty well. Um, it isn't very fast fast deck. It's not like Rokaza. It's one of those decks that takes. Um, like a couple turns to really start working the magic. Um, by turn two, you should be able to attack, though. By turn two, you should be able to do Fortress and uh, make gets uh, Unwavering Blade. But unlike Rayquaza or the Megas, it doesn't really knock out the first turn. You would have to pretty much 
constantly just start DPSing. And that's what I really like about the deck. You just constantly start attacking, and everybody's getting damage. The bench, the active Pokemon, everybody's getting damage. That's what I like about this deck. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the, the video. Looking for our opponent. Looking for our opponent. We found our opponent. So our opponent is Kellyum. That sounds very familiar. I don't know why. But let's go with uh, the choices, the meta. Let's go with Tails. Because I have bad luck. Yay. Bad luck wins. We'll go first. Good luck to you, Kellyum. Mm, this is kind of interesting, man. So this, our opponent has. Ooh! Is this a Mega Latios deck? So we shall see. We shall see. We're going to. Um, N is not that bad. So I'm going to go on N. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have anything. Hopefully our opponent has something great and I just mess up his day. Hopefully. Hopefully. So if we can actually get a, something out at the end, we can do some good damage now. So we're going to go in my turn. So let's see. He has the fast rate, right? Nice, nice. Ooh. Okay. This would be interesting. He's got Phoebus. He's got... Oh, sorry. He's got Phoebus. It is a Mega Lario deck, and he's got Mr. Uh, Mr. Mime. <laughs> he's got Mewtwo and Douche. He's gonna poison me. Man, I'm gonna be glad when that rotates out finally. Um, Mewtwo. Oh, you dick. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Thank you. The hack gods are in my favor. But yes, he's got Mewtwo, which is gonna be a big problem for us. Mostly because he has weakness, and we do too. But he usually, you know, he's a revenge killer, so, you know, he's going to hit me second, so I'm going to get killed. Um, fast rate. So, hopefully, we got the damage value out. We're going to touch the other energy. We're going to get out our N again. Uh, and then we're going to play N. And we got, we got it. We did get it. But, because I'm super greedy... And even though I shouldn't be super greedy, but because I'm super greedy, I'm gonna have to do this. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. Both energies. And we're gonna get out our fortress. So now our opponent can't even set up whatever the whatever he's gonna do with Phoebus. I don't know what he's gonna do, but that scares me. Phoebus is very scary. So I'm gonna go and evolve, play some damage counters, and then Unwavering Blade. And so, there we go. Phoebus is knocked out. I got an Ultra Ball, nice. Um, I was actually gonna run. Um, ooh, that's a nice full art. So this is my largest deck. I'm surprised he's not running bats. This is actually interesting. He's going. Out, he's opting for just heavy hitting. Uh, another laser, which isn't good. Lasers are always bad. But luckily, our opponent is having really bad luck and he's not getting heads, which is good for us. And hopefully, he doesn't get another laser. He played three already. So he only, ooh, he discarded the, so he does have the Sparkling Ripple once, which is actually pretty dangerous, because he can get whatever he wants from the discard pile. Let's see. I didn't, I don't want to end him. I don't want to end him, but I think it's the best option. I will get one card more if I just chorus, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just going to chorus, because I want to play it safe. He doesn't look like he has too much of anything going on so I want to just go ahead and call rest uh not too shabby actually not too shabby because I can do this if the gods allow if the gods allow yes the gods have allowed it we can get out a shaman touch an energy there put on our shaman let's play the ability um we can't hit the Latios yet, but what we can do is let's get rid of the switch. Am I going to need the switch? Mm, I don't think I'll be needing the switch. Nah, I won't be needing it. Uh, I could get rid of the poison, but I figured it's not that great to get rid of the poison. I mean, I think Galate's going to go down either way without, without the regards to the poison add-up. I also have Wobba Fett here, but I think putting in, putting damage just on damage, solid damage on the Pokemon is good enough. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and w unwavering blade. And for the knockout on Larios and for a nice good damage on that Mewtwo. So let's see what I get. Two energies, which is actually pretty stellar because I don't run too much energies. He does put on Mewtwo, which is scary. We oh, he can attack for one energy. 20, 40, 60 times 2, 120. I'm knocked out. He does get the Megalodios, so. And he does attach to actually to the Megalodios. So he's going to sacrifice the Mewtwo. And he's going to get four prize cards. Wait. No, never mind. He's going to snipe out that. I'm going to go and vault to for, uh, Fortress here, though. Going to go ahead and put another damage counter on him. Going to get my other Glade ready. And let's see. Ooh, man, if I had more damage on Glade, he could have got four prize cards because he could have sniped out the Shaman and me die from poison. But luckily, yeah, Megas have so much health. Let's see. He. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with Core Racing. And we got another Paneco, but that's not what we need. We don't need another Glade. We'll go ahead and get. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go ahead and get a threat. And yes, Wobbuffet is a threat. He can stack up damage, so basically, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna knock out the Mewtwo. All he's got left is, whoa, whoa. all he's got left is indeed the Latios. But he will knock out either the Glade or the Mega Shaman. I Mega <laughs> Mega Shaman. He'll knock out the Glade or the Shaman. And so who did he, who's he gonna choose? My bet's gonna choose the Glade since it's attacking. No, he chooses a Shaman because he, everybody hates Shaman. So that is, it's not a game at all, but let's see. You know what, I'm gonna play dirty. I'm gonna go and light out the other Latios. And I'm gonna go ahead and profess the letter for just one energy. I don't really need the other one. Uh, my opponent doesn't play any kind of cards, uh, any kind of stadium cards, which is actually kind of interesting. But I'm going to go and just 110 the Latios and then 32 the Mega Latios in the back. And he doesn't play Hydreigon, so. Whoa. So Latios over here. He's kind of a fat guy. Even though he's flying and he's a dragon, he's kind of. Oh, he's actually psychic. Even though he's kind of like a, like a speedy Pokemon in the card, he's actually pretty slow. Not bad. Phoebus comes out. And let's see. What kind of, how much damage do we actually have on you? So 70, 80. We won't do enough. Nah, not nearly enough. Let's see. There's nothing really I need. I could use another Glade, but... Mega Glade, but this one's doing pretty fine by itself. Let's see. I can't knock him out either way, so... Nah, I can't. So I'm just going to go on Unwavering Blade, stack up damage. That way, uh, Wawa Fett actually does the, da uh, the, the knockout punch, actually. Because Wawa Fett is, you know, all that damage. Mm. He's going to snipe again, so who's going to snipe? He's probably going to snipe the Mega. He's going to snipe the Mega, but that's pretty much game. Mega Latios cannot take the the whiplash from Boba Fett, but it was a good game, sir. I, I actually enjoyed your 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 Mega Latios deck uh, with Phoebus. It was actually a cool tech card. I didn't think about that, but I'm actually kind of surprised you weren't wearing bats because that, that would have been a lot tougher um, because you would have been stacking damage everywhere and then sniping. Granted, my Pokemon aren't very e HP heavy, so you could really snipe anything, but still, um, but it was a good game. That's actually the first Mega Latios deck I actually faced. I've been facing a lot of Suicuns and Siglyphs and let's see what else did I face. Um, I faced a bunch of Fairy decks lately. No Steel, which is kind of good I think, because I, 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 they do resist me. Uh, I faced a couple of Rayquaza decks, but this is my first Mega Latios and I'm actually a big fan of Mega Latios. So there you go, uh, Mega Glade versus Mega Latios. Um, if you had a different variant of the deck, if it, I think if you had Crobats, he might have actually either won or been a lot closer game. Um, but I actually, I actually um, basically underestimated the sniping potential of Megalodios, and I love the dragon double dragon energy combo with it. It's so great. You, 
you only, you pretty much have four shots at it, but I mean, it's still it's a great I think. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the Mega uh, Mega Gallade EX deck. Um, there are a couple variants of it, like I said, but this is my preferred one, Fortress. And instead of Absol, because I kind of find Absol is kind of hard to fit in here, I run Wobbuffet because I will stack up damage, and whatever comes back out and knocks out my Mega Gallade, would have was basically going to happen is Wobbuffet's going to just do a revenge knockout for so much damage. As you can clearly see, he did 190 to Mega um, Mega Latios. That's pretty much an EX right there, right? regardless. It's, that's just a regular EX now. But um, that Mega Gallade, Mega Gallade, that damage stack potential. And Mega Latios actually has good damage stack, damage stack potential, but you got to run you have to run that specifically with something that, that kind of suits it. And I, I like this Phoebus idea. Um, I'm assuming he's going to use it to get back like supporters or lasers because he wasted three lasers in the first turn. Either way, I got extremely lucky in that round. I usually don't. I usually never get that lucky. I never get. I always fall asleep, and I always fall asleep for like ten turns. But luckily, the gaming hacks were on us, were on our side, and he was flipping tails on those those him tons of lasers. So I feel bad that he flipped so much tails. At the same time, I don't because I hate lasers so much. Either way, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the. But Mega Gallade deck, uh, if you guys have any suggestions or any kind of, uh, I know the other variants, but if you guys enjoyed this one over, you know, what's the other variant that Gallade run with it? Uh, the Dust Snorg variant, there's also, uh, there's Bats, there's a Bat variant, also, there's also a Crowbat variant. But I, I prefer the Fortress variant, just because even though, basically, Bats do more damage, like more DPS over time, the the fortress pretty much gets it all on the bench. So if they have, if they have a big bench, you can get them all on the field. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and you know subscribe if you really like the video, like, comment, and I'll help. Um, I'll upload another uh, Mega Mega Pokemon next Tuesday, I believe. I'm not sure exactly. Next Tuesday or Thursday, but for sure next next week.